you may or may not want to hear about this. But I believe it is necessary. Are you single? And do you get sexually aroused? You may ask me, Kevin, why are you talking about this? Give me time. I believe masturbation, fornication, and adultery are huge problems. Let me ask you something. Do you believe God would make you sexually aroused when you are single? Think about it. If you are unmarried, why would God purposely make you sexually aroused? Would God influence you to masturbate, fornicate, or commit adultery? Would he? I don't think so. If God would not make you sexually aroused when you are unmarried, who do you believe is doing so? I believe the answer is demons. I believe the Holy Spirit influences people to do what is right. I believe demons influence some or all people to do what is wrong. As humans, I feel that we have a choice to either be influenced by the Holy Spirit or by demons. Do you agree with that? If demons are influencing you to get sexually aroused, what can you do to combat against them? Number one, obedience to God. Look up James chapter 4, verse 7. Are you going to do everything right? all day, every day. Perhaps not. Try your best. I believe God honors persistence. Number two, command every demon that may be manipulating you sexually to leave. For instance, I bind and cast out every lust demon in or around me to go straight to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Look up Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. If you still feel sexually aroused after saying this one time, continue to say it until you stop feeling sexually aroused. Don't become discouraged and give in. Number three, you may want to stay on the defensive. What do I mean by that? Pray against any demon Hmm. Pray against 
any demon that may try to influence you sexually. I believe demons can influence us sexually. For instance, any demon that may try to influence me sexually, I command all those demons to go and stay in hell right now in the name of Jesus. Be careful of what you watch and listen to. If you choose to be around people and go places, be careful of whom you are with and where you go. Try not to involve yourself with anything sinful. Are you involving yourself with anything sinful? If you are, how do you expect to not be influenced by what you are involving yourself with? For instance, why would a married couple watch pornography? Someone may believe they are able to do it to spice up their marriage or something. How can a married person watch pornography and expect not to be influenced negatively by it? Let's be serious. Try to stay away from all evil. You may believe that you are not easily influenced. I believe all humans are easily influenced. Let me stop here. God bless you.